we go. I can delete that a small two seconds later. What were we using here? It's flying. Right, so hit it with fight. Ah, uh, no. Hit it with fight again. Why? Because it works. I mean, yeah, it's neutral. <laughs> like... Why? I like it to move two feet. Oh my... I'm gonna be honest, Ben, you don't have to fight all these random... <laughs> ...encounters. What do we will, anyway? Okay. Just... Just note that in, like, the harder routes, that might get you in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say after the fourth gym, fighting uh, wild Pokemon is probably going to get you in some trouble. Have you coming back to the Poke Center often? Wow, it really survived that at 1 HP. Oh, so Chansey, you couldn't have, like, went for the Baneri? Yeah. I, I, you know, Peck Silcoon. You Peck Silcoon, it'll kill Silcoon. I did. Oh. What the fuck, Silicon? You lived? Level up. Bro, Silicon's defense is too high for the shit. <laughs> It's useless. Oh. If you were playing the game for a, uh, a severe long period of time, it would become useful. Oh. However, we are not. Wait, do you want to fight me now? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would also, have never been able to get through this by myself. Hmm? Fuck! You see those little trees? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the secret legendary is, so... Yeah, we gotta... We gotta come back. Hmm. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. Yeah, because you get the ability to chop those trees down after the second gem. I gotcha. I'll be back So the second gem we come back and hope maybe we can end it off like that tonight. Maybe. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. This is, however, a large town. Oh You're gonna God. have some fun. Oh boy, here we go. The left path is a dead end, just so you know. Hmm. To sit back and fish casually. It's a grown-up's hobby. How about that? I've added me a feisty traitor. Traitor. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Fuck. What? He went into the battle. Yeah. We're the most powerful. Bruh. You'll never guess what type that is. Fire. Fuck, how'd he guess it? It's orange. I too, I too will hit it with water. <laughs> no, wait, stop! 
Resistant to what to that, I think. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! Just use electric like you're supposed to. No. Refuse. Oh my god. Bruh, I don't care if you're confused, just start swinging. It starts swinging! Bruh. So you want to swap the... Uh, get some electric deck, or...? This thing might kill you! <laughs> damn it. Making me look like a fool you are. Me?! No, not you. <laughs> Big wind swept away. So I think that guy that guy's the most powerful trainer in the game. Oh. Nothing's about now I could use a break, I suppose. I think it's this guy. Wait for real? Wait. Oh! Yeah, yes. Six Magikarp! Wait, for real? That can't even attack you. Whoa. I'm not kidding you, this, this guy has six Magikarp that can't attack you. Just use Thunderbus, use Spark, just get this battle over with. Pingu, fuck you. No, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Hit it with a rock. Oh my god! They really put this fight in here being like, You're scared? He's got six Pokemon. It's like, nah, it's just magical. It's literally just six magical. Why do they make this guy? He's in every Pokemon game. Has there ever been every a Pokemon game has Magikarp guy. I want to see a Magikarp only run. There is, there, it, it does exist. I just only hit switch it in for that. Nice, that does exist by the way. Oh my god. It's a lot of struggling. I can imagine. Both and then when you get to the Elite Four, you have a level 100 Magikarp that knows Hydro Pump. Sort of achievement for something like that. Oh, honestly. If I want, I may make the thumbnail for this be nothing but Magikarp. <laughs> with the subtitle, with the caption of, Please make this stop. <laughs> No, you have to throw one rock in there. <laughs> oh my god! No, I don't know. There's a mod for, um... Uh... I think it's black and white? Which, uh, makes Magikarp guy have six Gyarados. Oh my 
It's something. How the Magikarp guy is actually the scariest guy to fight when you're playing a randomized Pokemon. One of these days, they will make him the strongest foe you've ever seen. <laughs> but he actually is sometimes if you're playing a randomized. Hmm. If you're playing a randomizer, he has six randomized Pokemon. Damn. There's six chances to randomize into God. <laughs> like he's actually the scariest trainer in in the early game in, in the randomizer. They want to have a battle with tough Pokemon they fished up. It's gonna be like two. Three? Oh, hey yo, shit. Fisherman Zachary. It's me again? Bro, why you got a Magikarp? <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna have three Magikarp. Honestly, judging by its level, it's probably like a Magikarp and a Goldeen, actually. You know, for being a Nintendo game, you think they would have, like, blocked out curse words? They do that for the later games. No! no. For the Switch games. Shit. Shit. It's okay, though. I think it's kind of bad censorship. Uh. Like, some things are censored and some things aren't. Goldeen. But yeah, I think it's because the Switch games are, like, entirely online. Mm. Whereas the uh, DS games uh, were basically only local online. That mm. you had to be next to the person to do anything with them. Uh -huh. But the Switch, the Switch games are, like, entirely online. Damn, two magic cups and a gold ding. <laughs> I will literally, if I ever get a magic carp, I will literally name it Suffering. <laughs> and if it evolves? We'll see. Who's into a kid asking me gasp like a magic carp? <laughs> I wonder why it's gasping. Put it back in the water. Honestly, you might end up with a magic up in uh, black and white. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you why. Nice. Turn around. But there's a reason. Oh, I made it to town. All right. So where should I start? Um, go top down. Top down. Okay. Top down. I'd say top down. Uh. I and by top down, I mean top right, bottom left. Top right, bottom left, got it. Yeah, because the town is like uh, an upside down L. Uh huh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Pokemon status, the statue, right? So let's say status. I'll take you there. Well, I, th I think in my Bullion Diamond playthrough, I named this guy Thud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. With the two exclamation points and everything, too. Nice. Oh, oh. yeah. What the?
Bro, who's that blue haired weirdo? I don't know. Who did that? Uh, I heard it too. No, no, no. Who who voiced this? I, oh, I know you. I know the blip blip. That's me. Yeah, it was you. It was me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is Eternus. It, yeah, Eternus Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Whoever didn't so know are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth, needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. You're somehow in my way again. Why doesn't that guy just, like, move to the left or the right? Yeah, no. Oh, hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. Something about a brilliant diamond. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all of your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks, for sure. You do that, you never lose. You'd be the invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon stat statue. See you around. Thud. <laughs> you hear the police. <laughs> No, yeah, no, because I'm really dying. I think it, I think it actually has the the um the name of the person who's who's thudding too. <laughs> so it goes thud thud. It's great. So I should start from where we're. Oh well, there's nowhere else to go. Yeah, yeah, no, the, yeah, this is top right. This is top right. Okay. Uh, let me just do this that. They say this is an awesome Pokemon that people saw long and long ago. I wonder if they call it... something. It's Antonio City's Pokemon statue. There seems to have been a de uh, descriptive plight, but it appears it was torn off. I wonder why. Man. In Diamond and Pearl, it actually, uh, it was faded writing that you hmm. could kind of maybe make out and read parts of letters. I wonder if I would be able to figure it out. An old man. Eternity. Well, just completely ignore the old lady. Eterna came to be long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, what is important has not. I hope it remains that way forever. I'll say I love how this th this city is actually a pun. Sheesh, hmm. where's I mean, the world coming to? You mean... It's Eterna City. Yes. Eternity. Yes. It's a fucking pun. Someone ripped off the descriptive plate from the Pokemon statue. Now no one can read the inscription. Why would someone do that? Actually, we want to know what it's... Uh, wanna know what it said? I mean, I, I, I actually already know. I know its name, so no. What's its name? <laughs> What's my name? Everyone knows its name. Even if I haven't gotten to the end, I know its name. Is it the legend? Yes. The Legend 47? Oh my god. If you're interested, <laughs> don't feel obligated or anything. Have you seen the Pokemon? Oh wait. <clears throat> Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. I'll tell you, the name starts with a G. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, so I think you have the wrong one. <laughs> Good. 
now I'll confuse everybody else. That's not the name. Hey, you there, kid. Stay away from that Pokemon statue. Oh, no, wait, that's Team Galactic. I should. Did you not? <laughs> I didn't pay attention to his stupid hair. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. If, if I... their hair matches the grass, it's Team Galactic. <laughs> stupid blue haired fools. The one away. Cyan? I'm kind of. Well, no, it's, not, it's like teal. Calling him stupid blue hair, blue haired fools is kind of like hating on Jupiter because she's supposed to have blue hair. In no, she's black hair. No, I know, I know. Dawn has black hair. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry. I'm talking about sorry. the later games when I can customize her. Okay, okay, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to the herb shop, the home of the effective yet inexpensive medicine. Hold on. Purple man's made most impressively, but your Pokemon won't like this. They're horribly bitter and smelly. Okay. Someone ought to invent herbal medicine that isn't bitter. That would be a medicinal breakthrough. Medical breakthrough. Medicinal. All the same. Actually, I think Dawn's hair is actually, like, considered stale. Not black. Um. It. Black? What? Obviously not. Speaking of black. Hey, yo, I know exactly who you are. <laughs> You're that the character. The one that, that wears that I... black robes. You're a character who I thought was much older, but then was told was like, what? 16. Yes. Oh, that device you have. Is it a Pokedex? Wow. It brings back some memories. Pardon me, From but six years what's ago. your name? I see. Okay. Hello, Jupiter. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name we is Cynthia. We didn't tell you the, the name. We, <laughs> we kind of just <laughs> a triple dotted. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythologic... Mythologic... <laughs> Yeah, I'm mythology. saying mythology. Mythology, yes. Anyway, just out of curiosity. No, there. Here in Eternia City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. Hey, let's go! An HM! Hmm. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used out in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Alright, just so you know, Cut's just a better tackle, and you it'd probably be good to teach it to, uh, your Thunderpuss. Perhaps. But Cut's basically just a better tackle. Hmm. Hey, yo, buddy. That's definitely a galactic guy. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Trainer! Uh, it's okay, never mind. You look tough. Uh, is there a possibility that I skipped a fight? No. Uh, I won't take, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. <laughs> It'd be funny if you could just completely skip fights because you're already strong. That would be a concept. It feels great. That, would, keep, that, would, that would actually help over leveling. The overleveling problem the game has. Hmm. But I like to overlevel. <laughs> I would love to have that mod. I would love <laughs> to have that mod. 
You know it, how much... it forces you to not over level. Oh my. Hi, you a cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? This Poketch app. Wait, no, not Poketch. I forgot how we said it. Poket Poketch. Is that right? It's Poketch. The Poketch app will help. We'll show you how close your Pokemon feel to you. Cool. <laughs> Pingu fucking don't like us, I don't know what's going on. Ugh, Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's too. Uh, something should be done. Team Galactic creeps everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokemon? Stay still. When a Pokemon faints, it just means it doesn't have the power to battle. But it can still use hidden moves outside of battle. Cool. 